This is the first ever Battle of the Bands uh, performed by student uh, bands and performed on campus. On November 4th, within the walls of the West Poly Ballroom, Superb hosted the Battle of the Bands, an event in which five bands, Calcifer, Sex Asians, Ego, Mommy Mommy, and Five Arm Sloth, competed not only for the prize of $1,500, but also for the hearts of UC Berkeley students. We spoke with Tomas Aleta, a major component of Battle of the Bands, and he shared with us how house shows were the root of this whole event. I started going to more and more of these shows on Lower Sproul, um, at other houses, at different uh, bars or coffee breweries, and that kind of just got me on the track of thinking, oh wow, like there are more than just five bands at Cal. They're all surprisingly good. Why not organize something for all of the bands at Cal? And since I was in a position where I could do that, I thought, why not bring it up? Why not try to get it done? And, and well, it's, it's here now, so that's really exciting. Tomas dives deeper into why this event is not only fun, as you can see, but how it also affects the community of students and music as well. Um, and I want the student body to kind of realize that there's a lot to Cal, and it's not just studying, and it's not just um, going to main stacks at 12 at night. Um, that, yeah, a lot of people have amazing hobbies, whether it's music or whether it's something else, and I think we should all appreciate how diverse uh, the student body is, and of course, um, shows like this, events like this, are just a, a snippet of, of what there is to do at Cal. Like Domas said, we should all appreciate how diverse the student body is. Without further ado, let's get into the bands. We asked each band how did they get their name. Starting with Calcifer, who were the openers for Battle of the Bands, they shared with us their answer. Um, we had a song called Calcifer, and after like six or seven months in the band, we were like, what if we just we make it a, song called Calcifer. a little bit better? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then we became Calcifer. I joined like six months ago, so I'm a it's little true. We realized that we're both Asian and sex cells, and so we're sex Asians. We made it up. <laughs> Definitely has... Sloths are cool, and there's five of us. It started as a joke. Um, we were doing a cover um, by a band called Mother Mother on our first practice and we were like, what should we be called? And I was like, oh, mommy mommy, it sounds pretty gay. <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, yeah, that's like a bookmark, that's a placeholder, but alas, here we are. <laughs> it was not a placeholder and we are mommy mommy. After three hours of music, headbanging, and a night of friendly competition, the answer to who would win the $1,500 was still lingering in the air. Winner is... Five Arms Love! How does it feel to win? Thank you guys so fucking much! As Five Arm Sloth was announced the winner of the $1,500 of the Battle of the Bands, we previously discussed with them what they would do with their money if they won. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could continue to do this band thing. Um, yeah. Heck yeah. Supporting art. Probably musicians. supporting artists, like <laughs> other people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Supporting other musicians, I think, would be really good. Congratulations to Five Armed Sloth, a fairly new band who won the first ever Battle of the Bands. Each and every band that performed holds tremendous talent and shines a spotlight on all of the Berkeley-based musicians and artists, serving as a reminder to support the arts and our fellow musicians. Reporting for CalTV News with help from Ava Andrews, I'm Shayla Slampour.